Your girl is too cute. Too cute. Makeup or not, too cute. Bow. Hey, my lovelies, good morning. So I know I have a bonnet on, but I'm conditioning my hair. So this bonnet is staying on. It's Friday currently. If y'all are new to my channel, welcome. I'm so excited for the weekend, but yes, my mom and I, we're about to go get our nails done. Look, let me show y'all, this is a hot mess. Do y'all see how I broke these nails? Anyways, and I've had these nails on since my birthday. So it's about time for me to change. Oh, I got cinnamon toast crunch this is how my nails look like i will show y'all a better picture or whatever outside but yeah i have to go get some vaccinations for um a job that i'm about to be doing oh i look rough y'all i look so rough so yeah i just gotta hurry up and eat some cinnamon toast crunch i'll talk to y'all later call me a catfish y'all call me a catfish so my hair is conditioning and it needs to stay conditioned because i'm going to a wedding tonight so if i wash my hair now it's going to end up drying and i need my hair wet in order to do the slick back ponytail so i'm going out like this yeah it's okay it's one of those days and honestly i'm okay your girl was still cute so either way look y'all this dimple ah! It's popping up. But anyways, yes, I'm about to go get my vaccinations. And um, I actually did some of y'all a favor. I know y'all don't like people wearing bonnets. So I said, let me try to look a little better. But y'all see that glow, though? That glow. Period. Oh, y'all. Your girl is looking rough. But anyways, my hair was braided into four. And it's still conditioner in it. So I'm about to hop in the shower and go wash my hair. Let me show y'all. I'm about to lock my hair. I'm actually done with the whole natural hair process. I just want to wear my hair in a ponytail like a couple more times and then I will be perfectly okay. So yeah. Yeah, so this is my hair. Oof. As y'all can see, I always look rough. Anyways, this is the gel that I use. I used to use Eco Styler. I don't like it anymore. I'm not a fan. I feel like it doesn't hold as well as this one. And this is way cheaper. It was like $2 for the whole entire thing. And I use a lot of gel. I slap a lot. So it's worth it. Eco Styler is like $5 for the big one. It's okay. So I don't know if I want to do a top knot or if I want to do like a slick back. I'm going to show you a picture of what I've done in the past. Um, oh, I love my hair. I really do. I just need to learn how to like be more. I don't know. Um, trying to see. Maybe up. Down. Yeah, I'm thinking up, low key. I'm gonna go ahead and separate it in half. <laughs> dress on i'm not a fan of my lips so i dropped my mom off and my dad i'm actually about to head back home and do my lips like fix my face exactly how i want to because i had to drop my brother at work so i wasn't able to like fully do my makeup like how i wanted also i left my purse at home like girls are trying to take pictures no way i'm about to do a half-ass picture so yep i'm heading back home to go do that but i look too adorable 
I'm too cute. Huh? Y'all see that difference, right? Period. So I changed my lip and fixed my face, added some highlights, period. This is how I'm supposed to leave my house. So I still have my scarf on, of course, because my hair started getting a little frizzy. So yeah, I'm feeling better. I got my ring on, I gotta fix it. Look, I'm a rush queen. I rush, but I still make everything look good, like her. And I got my purse, that's really what I wanted. So yeah, I'm about to head to the venue. I will show you guys how it looks like. Look at me in this little rotating thing. This brings back memories. That's like my birthday pictures here. Hey guys, this is my mom and my dad brownie. You could look down for me. Cause when I look at you, I feel something tell me. That you're the kind of guy that I should make a move on. And if I don't let you know, then I won't be for Y'all, that wedding was boring. <laughs> I was trying to make it seem nicer than what it was, but it was boring. It's currently 11 o'clock. I was trying to find someone to do something with. Like, I wanted to go to, like, I don't know, like a little rooftop bar or something. I couldn't find anyone. So honestly, I'm just gonna call it a night. So I have homework anyways. So I might as well be doing that. So yeah, that's the end of today. I should be going out tomorrow. I don't know what I have planned, but we'll see, we'll see. Talk to y'all later. Good morning, my lovelies, rise and shine. So I still have my acne treatment on my face. I need to wash it off, but uh, it's a lovely day. I'm about to go to the lake and um, just chill, like journal, write, all of that. Um, just be there. So yes, it's a lovely, beautiful day. The weather outside is nice. And yeah, I'll see y'all later. Y'all, I'm in a great mood, a fantastic mood. Like, what? I love when the weather is like this. This is when I feel most alive, you know, because the weather is just exceptional. So, yes, I'm about to take you guys to my lake, my favorite lake. I have a couple of lakes that I go to, but I'm going to show y'all my favorite lake or whatever. Y'all, my lake. I love it so, 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 so much. I had to move over here. Um, I forgot I put my dermatologist cream on my face. So I can't be in the sun. So I can't sit in like the open spot like where I showed y'all I was at. So I'm like in the shade under the trees. Y'all, it's too beautiful out here. But yeah, y'all, last time I came here, you know, I was all sad and everything about my birthday. I didn't know like where life was gonna take me. I was just a little bit down, you know? But I can definitely say God has had his way in my life and things are starting to work for my my own good, you know? Um, I got some good news this week. I'm not gonna disclose that to y'all just yet, but um the news will be shared very soon. And yeah, I don't know, I'm just grateful. I'm beyond grateful. Even looking back at my life, this time last year, I was in basic training, right? Hence the Air Force. Wait, can y'all see it? Yeah, the Air Force. Um, I actually need to do um, a little chit chat, you know, Q&A for that. Cause I know a lot of people have asked me questions. So I'm just gonna direct them to my video so that way they can watch it. But um, yeah, I'm in a great mood, you know, God is good. And I, I look, when I tell y'all I am excited for the rest of the year, I just need things to work accordingly in my favor. I'm loving the, these orange nails though, for sure, for sure. So yeah, I'll see y'all. People love to stare like, why are they breaking their neck? For what, because I'm cute? I already know that. Mm, mm, mm. Hey, hoes. 
Hells. Mm, 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 mm. Mm. The girl is too cute. Too cute. Makeup or not, too cute. Bow. So you guys, my sister is making me um go out. And I would rather not because I wore makeup yesterday. And I hate wearing makeup two days in a row. But you know, I guess we're having sister bonding time, so I'm gonna have to wear makeup today. So Y'all gonna see how I do my makeup or whatever. You know, I'm not a makeup artist. I just be trying, trying to put one plus one and make it two and it be working. So you guys are gonna see that today. Um, yesterday, I loved my makeup. Like, honestly, I loved it. So I don't know if I wanna do that. I think that was extra, unnecessarily extra. So, um, well, it's unnecessarily extra for today. So, um, Starting off with the moisturizer, you already know what I use. Equate to bow. I love how I can show my nails now because they're done. Um, I love her room, by the way. It's like so cozy. Like, this is giving YouTuber already. So we're gonna start off with the eyebrows today and I always use Eco Styler and um, get my little spoolie. Where's my mirror? Where the hell? Okay, eyebrows, eyebrows. Here we come. So yes, y'all, I just brush it up or whatever, you know. I think that gives me the best arch because the arch defines my face. Y'all see these pretty eyes? This is exactly what needs to be shown. So yes, hopefully I can get through a whole makeup tutorial with y'all because I feel like something always comes up to where I have to rush but i mean today is not really like it's not by force for us to leave the house at a certain time so i really could leave i really could take my time and give y'all a full makeup tutorial like that would be nice bow and i use the becca primer because my skin is mad oily and this just does the job like it does what it needs to do i forgot i need this mirror um it does what it needs to do so while my eyebrows are drying, I'm going to be priming my face, preventing the oil, etc. And I use a good amount, you know, so. And I'm going to need y'all to communicate, like have conversation with me. What do y'all want to see from my channel? Like, you know, um, I'm not the whole makeup, hair, even though I do that, I do that for myself. That's something that I, I like, well, I don't like to do. I just do it because it's cost efficient of my own hair and makeup, but I don't really like to do that. I'm more of a self-love, self-care, all of that. I have a question y'all for whoever wants to answer. I need all of y'all to participate as a matter of fact. So I was gonna ask this question on Instagram, but how do y'all feel about double standards when it comes to tattoos because i went to a wedding yesterday as y'all saw and i don't like the fact that i get stared at because i have tattoos like i like the way i look i love the way i look as a matter of fact and i feel like it shouldn't be uh an issue for women to have tattoos i get it like you know people still want the feminine look they still want their woman to look feminine i get that i get that and sometimes tattoos can look over masculine i understand that um, but I feel like it's a choice. It's not, it's for each individual. Um, if you like it, you like it. If you don't, you don't. But I really hate the fact that even some girls feel like they can't get tattoos. Even for me, like I wanted my, like my whole sleeve. I'm just going to stop at this for now. Um, but yeah, I wanted my whole sleeve and it was just seen as like, Oh, why do you want to get a full sleeve? You're a female. Remember, you got to get married. You remember this. Remember that. Why don't you say this bullshit to guys? Why are you always coming at me talking about, oh, I need to remember? Why can't guys remember? And maybe I am a feminist, maybe, you know, but I don't like the idea that men can do whatever they want. They can live their lives freely. They can literally do whatever without worrying about consequences. Like, why do I have to live my life? for a man why do i have to live my life to satisfy a man i haven't even met i don't even have a boyfriend 
I don't even have any contenders. So why am I worried about all of that? So that's just one thing that's annoying. And honestly, Tracy Ellis Ross, Oprah Winfrey, like I'm all for it. Like I'm not about to stop my life or put my life on hold so that way I can get married. Again, to each their own. I know some of y'all care about getting married. I, of course, marriage is a beautiful thing, but I don't wanna put my life on hold because I'm waiting to meet the right man. He needs to put his life on hold for me. That's exactly what he needs to do. Put his life on hold for me. Because imagine, girls really be thinking that they have to do this and that. Then when they have kids, they still got to actually do this and that. Like, when do you have time to live your own life? When do you have time to actually live for yourself and not for society or what your parents think or what their the guy's parents think? Like, one thing for sure, I already know if I do marry a Nigerian... I already know with my tattoos, their parents are going to have a lot to say. And I'm cool with that, you know, to each their own. Y'all had your own kids. Y'all got married. Y'all did your own thing. Now it's time for me to live my life. Like, you know, so that's my only thing. I just don't want to be limited because of what a man thinks or what people think um, a woman or how people think a woman should act because in order to find a man it's okay the right man will find me and that's one thing that's certain i'll be seeing the most oddest couples like how did that happen how how did that even come into existence but you know what it came it's in existence so if those people can find love look let me tell you anyone can find love don't ever Put your life on pause. Like, I know some of my friends that I'm going to wait until I get married so that way he could pay for my education. Look, let me tell you something. That's free education and that makes sense. But why would you not pursue an education? Because you're waiting on a man. I never want a man to be like, I gave you this. I gave you that. You didn't give me shit. I gave it to myself. All I want is your love. Extra love. I can give myself love, but I want someone to be my partner, someone to be my best friend, my confidant, my, my ride or die. That's what I want, you know? Um, but I don't want someone to think that they own me or they were able to buy me or, you know, that's not the type of life I want, at least for myself. Again, to each their own. Some of y'all girls, women, females, y'all want someone who's gonna cater to your every need. Like, you know, um, also, how do y'all feel about this? So one of my friends, actually she's my cousin, she was like, oh yeah, I don't take out the trash. Like, let me tell you something. Hi. Come Hi. Saying, okay, back to what I was saying, you guys. Okay, so um, yeah, like I don't like double, I don't do double standards. I think what a man can do, a woman can do, what a woman can do, a man can do. Of course, there's exceptions like carrying a child. Um, biologically um a man can't do that but i'm saying stuff that your hands can do your feet can do i feel like there should not be gender roles when it comes to stuff like that i'm not a fan i don't think i will ever be a fan i definitely believe in equal treatment like pump your own gas of course if he offers look if i have a man when i get a man and he decides to do all of that for me by all means do it but I'm never going to expect it. Like, that's the thing. Like, the expectations is what's crazy. Because that's like a man expecting me to cook. By all means, I love to cook. Like, I don't mind doing that. But I'm not going to cook just because he expects a meal. I expect a meal, too. I don't want to cook. I had a long day. Your girl's a CEO. I don't want to cook. I don't have time to cook. My eyes are burning. It's the same thing. I don't, I'm never going to expect a man to do to take out the trash bro if you see the trash is full if you walk away or you're like honey i need you to take out the trash i think that you can do on your own you don't need to wait for a man in order to for the trash to go out in order for your um your oil to be changed like no do that yourself i just i'm an advocate for equal treatment literally equality for all i am one of those I just don't, I can't stand the whole expectations. Don't expect nothing from me because I don't owe you anything. I don't need to, I don't need to do anything. Again, I'm naturally submissive in a way, in a way, in a way, tad bit, poquito. I want to cook. I want to clean. I want to do all those things for my man, but I don't ever want it to be like, it's going to be an argument because I didn't cook. 
or it's gonna be an argument first the house won't ever be dirty but i don't ever want it to be like just bad vibes because i chose not to do that so that's just my own my own take y'all let me know what y'all think about that though and this is the fenty foundation in color 450 i'm not about to do all of this this is, found this is fenty foundation fenty beauty um color 450 soft matte um honestly i like but i definitely like estee lauder better i feel like it gives me more of a better full coverage one thing i do need to work i feel like i have a lot of pores and i hate the way it looks like truly i hate the way it looks hi mm -mm. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. you guys so i already added the foundation and i added this elf concealer so my sister's trying to see how my blending game is so i'm gonna add some more concealer and she's gonna critique me basically telling me if i'm doing okay or not i think i blend pretty well but let's see so we're just gonna start off with the under eye and um so i let the other one dry that's why it was like that so what do you mean it's, it's, it's always like that you're not in well, oh, Victoria. It's I need to start introducing myself as Victoria Made, by the way. Like, I don't know why I haven't been doing so. I just be like, hey, y'all. But I need to be like, hey, y'all. It's your girl, Victoria E. Made. Welcome back to my channel. To All of that. That's the gender. But that's what people do. You have to tell them what your name is. You gotta make it home. People make their own, too. Okay, Noble? Okay. My name is Noble. Okay. So we're blending. We're blending. Are you looking at me? Blending? Before I was doing that, but now you said pat, 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 pat in, pat, 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 pat in. Okay. Could be wrong, but I feel like something could be going on. So let's ask my sister this question because I just asked y'all this. So the topic was, do you guys believe in gender roles? So like, you know how I, I brought up the fact that like some women feel like they can't pump their own gas or they can't take out their trash, which I think is very stupid. But, you know, to each their own. So what do you think about that? Um, Wait, wait, wait. I do believe in general, but when it comes to stuff like pumping your gas, that's like survival skills. That's like something you need to know how to do for your own self. You know, like, let's say you have a husband and like he takes out the trash, but that's just something he does. Like, you know, like, that's cool. Like, I don't mind taking out the trash, but that's just something my husband's going to do. Like, and cooking, like I'm so gonna. So if you see I, uh, the trash full, will you take it out, or will you I will walk take past it? Out, it? Okay. But I'm gonna expect for it to already be taken out. But I'm, if he doesn't take it out, there's no problem. I'll take it. I don't care. You but know like what I told you about expectations. No, no, no. That's like him expecting food to be on the yeah, table. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like it's stuff like that. Like if I don't cook, like we can go get food, or you can cook. Is what I'm saying. Not like oh, I can never touch the door. Like you're gonna let a stranger. You're gonna wait for a stranger man to come and like open the door for you it doesn't make any sense but if he's with you you're gonna expect you're not to gonna be... have a boyfriend every moment in your life you're gonna be a moment no, i'm saying single. when you're with your husband or whatever you're gonna expect him to always get out and pump the gas like what if no um, i mean he's gonna do that I've, he's I've, gonna do I've, it I've, yes. I've never like not experienced that like you're gonna pump the gas. but um yeah it's my it's not your car like that's cute thank you but i mean and if, and if we're together and you open the door or you're walking in front of me it makes sense for you to open the door for me because I even do that for my female friends, you know, like I just I feel like it is common sense. Common courtesy. Yeah. That's really what it is. Don't open the door. expect no one to do nothing for you, though, because nobody owes you anything. Y'all let me know what y'all think about that. I really do not believe in expectations like from anyone, even from your friends. Your friends don't have to do shit for y'all. Y'all just be, you know, putting that in your mind. Thinking, I do believe in generals, though. As to what that. extent? Like, if there's if there's something in my house that needs to be built, I'm calling my boyfriend. I'm like, a handy woman. Babe, so. I'm not handy. I'm not a handy man. I don't do that. Babe, I mean, it's not an expectation though, but I'm gonna make you do it. Period. Or you're gonna be okay. Great. Yeah, for your relationship, but it wouldn't be like that. You don't expect just anything. no. If he says no, then I'm just gonna call a Mexican. Like, huh? Oh. Cut. <laughs> okay, how's the blending? Would it look at it? It looks fine. The side. But you said don't drag it all the way. No, you still have to blend it. Oh. Cause when that's what you don't do, you don't drag, you don't blend it in, oh, so yeah. it just looks like concealer sitting on your face. I agree. I agree. Okay, I don't know why my face is mad and not moisturized, but I don't deserve this. What time is it? I don't know. 
I'm still in love with you, boy. If I don't let you know, then I won't be for real. I could be wrong, but I feel like something could be going on. The more I see you come on, that it becomes so true. There ain't no other for me, it's only you. I The food was amazing. Like I could even show y'all while I was eating. Should I type? I took my bitch out on this. Took my bitch mm -hmm. out. Me? Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, y'all follow her. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. You know the TikTok. Mm -mm. Dun, 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 dun. We're about to go to Crumble and get her some cornbread cookies or whatever, because you know that's the cookie for the week. And possibly go to the lake after. Not the lake, but Not the park. We're gonna go smoke some puka. No, I just wanna chill. I wanna chill um, by the water and listen to the birds chirp and all of that. Where are you going? You're no, you're driving. We're currently at Crumble Cookie. This hoe brought me here. Say hello, the sun is beaming on you. Period. So to me, the regular cookies. I don't know why we're here, but. We're gonna see when we try them. I'll let y'all know how it is. So if it's good, then y'all come here. <laughs> Period. Thank you. Thank you. Let's open this up. Yum. Cause we got haters. O M G. Let's okay. Just... So what is what? This is churro. Oh, wait, we're gonna eat it now. Or we're gonna eat it at the park. We're no, not going to the fucking park. I want to smoke hookah. Okay, so we we're gonna eat it at the hookah. Cornbread and two chocolate chips. Why well, you gotta touch all of them? Y'all, this hoe, let me tell y'all about her. So I was ready to go home. You know, the night is done. We don't have no business out in the streets no more. But this hoe had to bring me to Exhale so we could smoke some hookah and listen to some Nigerian music. Oh, it's BYOB. Wow, we should go to the liquor store, but I think they're gonna charge us. Anyways, yeah, this hoe had to bring me here. Can we go to the gas station? I want to get some wine. Brought me here, and I was <laughs> perfectly fine with going home. But now I'm out. We have to stay out, and we gotta do it correctly. What do you have to? I'm say? very happy I started to wear makeup because we outside and we finna dance and get drunk and hookah high. I have church tomorrow, you guys. Nice. I will not be I will not be in participating in such. Oh Lord, hell no. It's you guys, this place was a flop. It was a flop. One point for me. My sister sucks. Zero points for dupes. But the night is not over. The night is still young. Right. We will get fucked up in Jesus' name. Amen. I'm not co-signing. Co Y'all, so my sister brought me to Azura. And honestly, I hope this is it. Because I'm done. If this don't work out, it's the end of our night. I really just want to drink. Um, I'm okay with just a drink. I'll chill like that. But um, I'm tired. You got to get ready for church tomorrow. So, yeah. This idiot got turned back. Last minute. <laughs> Yeah. 
y'all. This is the end of our night. We are going home. I'm tired. We just came from Cloud. So yeah, no more of this. We're taking ourselves home. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. Y'all be sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good stuff. And I'll see y'all on another weekend. Bye y'all. Don't